I had a chance to look at the Altel Robotics X-Star Premium when Bob brought his model to the field. And you can see it comes with a nice controller, a mount for your cell phone, and a carrying case. And it's similar to like the in price range about $899 to the Unique Q500 or the Walkera QRX350. And uh, also maybe similar to the Phantom 3 Advanced. Comes in two colors, white and orange. It boasts a 4K camera with a 3-axis gimbal. And you can get a 720p HD live view up to about 1.2 miles away. Now here's Bob talking about the standard versus the premium X-Star. And they make another one, just the X-Star. Um, and it's a, it's a little bit different. The, the um, hookup for the, your smartphone mm -hmm. is Wi-Fi. This one's cabled in. So now Bob takes the Altel X-Star up for a flight. And uh, if you're looking at the bottom of the quadcopter, you can see that the two lights in the front are blinking green. That just means that everything's okay, good to go, and then the others are sort of a solid red. Uh, it has a Starlink app that you can put on the cell phone that allows you to control the quadcopter from the screen, giving it telemetry commands. It works with iOS or Android. The speed is up to about 35 miles an hour. You can see he didn't really go very fast here, but you know, it can, it can reach speeds up to 35 miles an hour. And it has a dual navigation system, so the GPS picks up GPS satellites and uh, Lenos sats. Flight modes include follow, orbit, or waypoints. So did you do the calibration before you flew? Or? Yes. Oh, okay. It looked to me like it might calibrate about the same as the other DJIs do. Or they do. It does. Kind of hold it towards you, spin around, spin around, turn it nose down, spin around again. Uh, they recommend, and I did. I didn't take my watch off, but uh, that you take your. Uh, if you have a smart watch, take your watch off. Metal objects out of your pockets, especially when you're calibrating. So not too hard to do, really. No. no. So there's a beginner mode on this uh, quad that gives you a geofence that limits the range and speed, and that's good to protect you when you're first trying to quad out. out. The prop size is about 9.4 by 5.5, so we're talking around a 9 by 5 prop. Weight is about 3.1 pounds on this quadcopter. Uh, the battery is a 4,900 milliamp hour, and I think it's a four cell. Flight times are around 25 minutes, and uh, that may vary, of course, depending on what you're doing. Uh, the radio has a 600 milliamp hour LI ion battery, and uh, so the radio will last quite a long time. So here's what it looks like on the cell phone screen, and you can see it goes dark when he takes a picture and then comes back. You can see us all standing around on the ground. It's basically doing a selfie. And you can see all the different uh, telemetry readings on the upper side of the screen and then some of the controls around the left side and right side. And here's a close up of the 4K camera on the gimbal. And you can see it looking down towards us. And as the quad moves, the gimbal's keeping the camera really steady, so it looks rock solid uh, from the view of the 4K camera. Right up here, telling me I've got six minutes left on the on the battery. Yeah. So that that's nice. Yeah. It tells me how high I am and it's giving me a low battery so that means you you probably should land it right to right. go easy on your battery even though you could probably go another five or six minutes coming down and I'm bringing him down manually 
Nice soft landing. So it comes with a really nice carrying case. So I want to thank you all for watching and leave any comments you want to under the video. And uh, this is just another option of the many aerial photography drones out there. Here, play.